Hello, welcome back. It's Matty G. Uh, we started exactly where we left off. Uh, we're just going to add in a radio tower. Or at least attempt to. Just trying to line one up. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> so if you missed it from earlier, we're just starting to set up the, uh, the farm yard uh, with 1.5 million that we have in farm manager. Bought a couple of fields, um, namely seven and ten. We're flattening out a load of land. It's moved off the edges. Let out. British style farmhouse with a slightly French slash Italian flair on the end and we popped a few bits in the garden area just to start off as we were going through and now we're starting to get the farmyard together just having a little look around seeing what, what works well together yeah end up using something completely different. So this is the small one that we may have seen before on Dagwin's um, Let's Play. He was one of the first people to use this. These British mods. English shed pack, I think it's called something like that. That's the smallest one. What we've gone for is this one here the biggest one. It has a workshop in here, two large bays, that's one shed in it. Uh, and then here is a slightly open side shed that you, know, you can use for uh, quite a lot of bits. That's pretty much all you really need to start off with in, in essence. But doesn't hurt looking. You've got a lot now. Use this one quite a few times. These little wooden ones are normally quite good to use. Hmm. I'm still not sold on which silo to. We will want a bunker silo. The only problem is this snap ones. Uh, one there. Don't have to have a big one. It's always the trickiest part is where to place them. It's an interesting one. <laughs> it does also depend on what type you go for. Yeah. That's the one we're going to go for. 
always got silo information. Some seed. I'm going to put our seed. In. We buy seed. We. I like. I like this one. Very rusty. I do try my best to keep them all in one sort of area. The only problem with this one doesn't always like to follow suit. You know. like, no, I haven't found one yet, would be a fertiliser tank, like this, but in a, in a, in a different colour, you know? So now, I mean, bright white's not ideal with the silver contrast, but it will do. It will do. Um, we've got a diesel one. It's boil station. Don't really need those yet. Um, I don't think there's anything in tools we're going to need that we haven't already got. Probably improved weather station would be good. Um, I want this out of the way, so we're gonna go and gonna go ahead and pop it up here. Whoops! There we go. Out there. Uh, it's out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, probably go for these little ones first. Don't take up as much room then. So yeah, as you can see, I don't leave much gap. <coughs> That's basically because I'm on console. Um, with no auto loader, it can get a bit tedious with the pallets, especially with this. So what I normally do, how I normally run my greenhouse is I fill them up, all the products. Once they're completely full, I just hit sell. You get a few grand, you know, um, that can buy you a year supply of seed if you need it, for example, uh, those sort of things. It works for me, how I like it. Uh, but now we've done that, we do need to go back into containers and get our water pipe. So these are the hydrants from Hydrant Pack. There are a number of packs now, so I can't tell you exactly which one it is because I can't remember. But these ones are free. Some of them will charge, some are free. These ones, it's five grand to place them. 
and then the water in them is free constantly and you just place them close enough like so and then when you need to you pull up your tanker fill up and empty at the same time yeah nice and straightforward Where is it? That's the fermenting one. Uh, I know there is one. I'm trying to think. It must be under. Might be under animals. There it is. There we go. Oh, where are we? This here is a godsend. It is an absolute godsend. Um. I think where to put it now. Yeah. So basically with this, um, your honey spawns in this spot here. It stacks up three high, four across. And you don't have to sell it. If you leave it, it then stores inside the warehouse. Uh, I think it's got about 30,000 something like that litre capacity but it fills up depending on how many beehives you have around it etc it fills up fairly quick uh, and, it, and it's, it's a brilliant little one to have it really is um, what we need now before I do that we need to just flatten some of this out a bit. We will have the bee garden if you like. See, sometimes it just doesn't go to plan. Not to worry, I'll stick on the smooth. See if that can remedy some of it. Apparently not. <laughs> There's always one, isn't there? Uh, I think that end is smooth enough to have the walkway. So uh, that's not too bad. I can always push this bit up. Uh, that's, how many is that? Uh, doesn't say how many it is. 33. And that one's 33. For an extra thousand pound. These are smaller. I reckon these ones are the way to go. Right in there. Shouldn't really spend this much money, considering. But we only did it once.
that will produce plenty of honey and make us plenty of money in the long run. Um, yeah, we're, hmm, 300 grand. We haven't really got the money to be doing any of this decorations, really. Uh, what we'll do at the moment is we're going to have a little look. Asphalt, what have we got? Do, 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 do. It looks like a rubbery gravel, isn't it? Forest, riverbed, new gravel, gravel moss, gravel dirt. That's not quite the same, but we can dirty that up, that's not a problem. Pretty much the car park, if you like. And we will shoot off this way. Towards the farm. We're just going to colour in some of the uh, floor in here before we do any more. Get it looking right. This basic pathway in and out. just dashing a bit of different texture down to break up the same old colours.
I think that'll do for the roadway. Uh, we're trying desperately to keep the build under that 60 grand mark. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. The grass texture is rather different, but it is what it is. trying to do is go around the edges so then we can go around with the larger brush size if you like worried about in coaching a fraction because the idea is we will put some sort of order enforcement here probably some hedge Just colouring in the grass. Uh, gone over a few bits. It happens. Not a big issue. And of course, it leaves us plenty of land, like this part down here, where if you end up with uh, friends that join you on a regular basis, put them a few houses in here. They can role play it's like their house. Um, or farm hands. a nice big patch in here didn't I I'm not sure if I'm gonna get hedges done under this in this value in this price tag not with buying equipment as well that's just a <sighs> dead hand. Shake that off, as they say.
So there, there's a basic layout. Should be enough to keep us going for a while. I uh, would like to put hedges in, but um, money is a little tight. We will add a few decos. Let's start as you can't have a, have a shed in the garden. So that's that bit done. So all we're doing now is just adding some junk bits around, uh, breaking up the, the normality of it all. Make it look exactly how a farm would actually look like with some junk scrap and things around. Probably have that in the garden. Definitely have the play swing for the kids. Love these things. These things can really make a border. Rotate a few. There you go, sort of breaks it up, makes it different. 
Uh, we'll probably add flowers into that at some point, I'll imagine. I've got plans for them, don't worry about that. skip over to landscape and I'll show you what I mean uh, what we want now. nothing overly big Are any birch yeah I have a small birch in that one Me to click it too quick. I've done it again. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Uh, we can get rid of that easy enough. Painting. Mossy ground. Gravel dirt. Yeah, we're right. Never keep doing it to the way. <clears throat> Always the way when you're trying to be clever. Uh, it never quite works out sometimes. There we go. Dotting a few of these around. Just a matter of dish dash doshing and see 
A bit like a, a Morse code. <laughs> Just pop a few around. Does take a little while. And of course, if there's ever a time when you want a big patch from somewhere, you can do that. That's not a problem. Though. It's however you really want to do it. But this does break it up and look it, make it look a bit more au natural. I guess it's the way we go. I'm just going to dash the orange ones now. Nearly done. There we are. Now what I will do is I'm just going to do the B area. So we're going to want a little entrance in here. Right there. Back to the old plants. Just to spruce that up a little. Forest ground looks a little bit like wood chip. You see what I mean? That's just to uh, decorate it up a little bit. Um, I think we've got some flower pots in here somewhere. I'm 
he says, optimistically. Uh, probably go for these brighter ones. Just break it up a wee little bit. Don't think there's anything else in here that's going to be really needed. I could go for a bench. But we're not going to. We could do, but there we go. So, yeah, we printed it out a little bit. That was me just being nosy. And so here we are. <coughs> so what you could do with a few quid. Still leaves us 300 grand to stock it, if you like. But some quick money makers, if you like, without cheating, if you like. Saying if you like a lot here. Uh, very dry mouth. It's been a long, busy evening. So yeah, we'll just pop over to the shop. And anything that we do get will be there, be spawned in there anyway. And as we've picked fill seven, we are literally just round the corner from it. Probably would have been easy to walk up the road, but you know. First things first, check the old used items. And that's not a bad buy. Straight up off the bat. An old voucher. Uh, we also changed the colour. You gotta have it in the voucher colours. Won't have the front loader attachment thingy. No thank you. Uh, Nokian. BKTs. Everyone goes for BKTs. We're gonna go for BKTs this time. <laughs> uh, black wheels. Gotta go black. License plate. Matty G. Zero one. Uh, N. W. O. New World Order. Back only. Okie dokie. Black's fine. How do Uh, that's not really worth that. There we got a first tractor, fifty-eight grand for a nice size tractor. Can't really argue with that. Um, we're not going to wait a year to get everything we need like I normally would do. So we're just going to come in here and have a little look what there is around. What have we got in the old mods for me? That only requires 190. Really? Oh, what else have that then? Uh, I like that. 
Yeah, thirty four thousand. Expensive, but it'll get us going. It's a cultivator. Uh, let's have a look what we got in the cedars. <whistles> Pricey. It's a three meter, twelve meter. What do we got in planters? Three meter. <laughs> Dear, three meter. Four point five, six, 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 six. six. They're in planters. Don't really want to do plant. So I wanted a cedar. Really. We can always rent if we need to for now. Uh, da -da. Trying to think off the top of my head what we need just to crack on with. We'll rent a cedar. We'll keep it keep it simple for now. I'll wait for stuff in the old second hand market. That's what we normally would do anyway. Wow, I really didn't think that was going to be that heavy. Alright, let's find out how heavy that actually is. It is 2.8 tonnes, so we're going to need a nice size weight. Six, 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 fifty, seven, fifty, nine. And I'll go 2.3. Right. Maybe I didn't need to buy such a bigger weight. But should balance itself out. Yeah, it's not so bad. Uh, what's also good about this tractor, and it, it's just so happenstance that it was in there, uh, you can drive this one backwards. You literally can. There is a steering wheel behind us. We can swivel the seat round and drive backwards. And I like that feature. I really do. Uh, wait, I have really overshot that, didn't I? That is a lot tighter turning than it looked. Might have to get rid of a few rocks. Here we are. I'm off the beaten track for now because we are going to mush up this.
Uh, we're just gonna go around here and finish this bit off. Come on, it's only a small hill. Yeah, so we're just going to go around, do the headlands, uh, set a worker on it. It's a biggish old field. It's probably one of the smaller ones on Carmston, um, in the terms of fields that you're turning into arable. Uh, I mean, down by the church, there are some very tiny fields. But they are very much grass fields. Oh, I have mucked that up. Have I? Let's go back. So yeah, they're very much grass fields. Um, I started off there on my playthrough the first time I played comes and built a farm up that way. And there's actually, a, uh, I think I've got a tour video up on that one. Um, lots of tour videos actually on that one. I have the, the picture style video, which many of you may have seen. That's on TikTok, Facebook. That is pretty much how I started on Camston the first time round uh, obviously this is the second time I've ever played on it uh, uh, as like a start from start from fresh so we're playing on farm manager so we can get to do the building some people suggested doing a survival role play scenario but uh, it's not quite the same when when the idea is to show the building side of it as well as everything else you don't get to show what you can create that way I mean if you're starting off with 50 quid you're not creating anything but a pile of wood. <laughs> and everyone sees that at the moment. So um, we will do a survival role play at some point, I imagine. Learned, is this field is not as squared out as it looks. Very much a bit all over the place, isn't it? <coughs> now we're just going to finish off around the headlands this field. We're going to turn it into arable. Um, not 100% certain on what we're going to turn it into. Probably a wheat to start off with, maybe an oat, barley, one, one, one of the cereal, one of the cereal crops. Get straw off that as well then, some other money making ways. Time consuming, yes. Um, money's money at the end of the day. There's a reason cows are one of the best products to to run on here and sell the old cows they consume too much keep the younger cows but, the, but after they're producing milk obviously <clears throat> you've got manure it's free fertilizer what they eat is basically the off cuts of your grain ie the straw that gets added into the mix and everything else is pretty much grass 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 is turned over, then you've got hay. Silage is just rotten grass. It's all mixed together to make their food. So it's quite a nice ones to have. At a time consuming, yes, but... Yeah, he was going to argue with a bit of time consuming. Right, let's turn this bugger around. Headlines are done. Worker can crack on. Hopefully. And we can think of other things that we need doing. Bees are hard at it. Alright, so we're 
So we do need a water trailer. And again, we don't need a big one, so three three thousand will do. Black rims. We do not need a plate on that. Oh, we don't want one anyway. Three thousand. Job done. Now we're going to need a vehicle. Uh, we don't need to go anything too fancy. I suggest this mod. It's the John Deere Gator Pack. Gator 6x4. A lot of people have these already. But with all the multiple things it can be put on it. Flatbeds, etc. Um, I, I think it is fantastic. And it looks really good as well. Just keep that as standard. Get the cab version so it's like a car. We won't have the beacons. There's no traffic on Carmston, so beacons are not really needed. Yeah, want the bigger engine. Go for the olive. Black. Black. Change the number plate to two. Have one of them. Now it goes with that. We will go with huh. Normally I just get a skip so I've got something to carry stuff around in. If I need be we could get the fertilizer one. It's only a ten meter spread. I'd say buying a fertilizer. Think, think, think. Yeah, why not? We'll get that one for now. We can always upgrade. At a later date. That will work. That will work nicely. Jump, we'll skip over there. I won't be tabbing all the time, but at the moment we will. There we go, got it in the end. And this should still connect to these. Yeah. So what we'll do, is we'll go fill up the greenhouses with water. And for anyone who's uh, maybe watching and don't know what, what I was meaning earlier about putting the pipes there and filling up and emptying at the same time. This would be a nice little thing for you to pick up. We're going to have to find a creative way of figuring out where that turning is. I'll probably get rid of those rocks there because it's not going to make it any easier. See, just line it up right next to the pair of them. Start filling and overloading. And all you got to do, um, depending on your controller on Xbox, it's push down on the L pad. You just keep tapping it. Watch your water before it runs out. Tap it. Tap it. And after a little while, that will fill it up. Must hold a lot more than I thought we did. There we go. And drive through to the next one. This won't take us nowhere near as long. Again, just keep tapping that fill it up button. There we go. And then you can put your bits and bobs and your equipment away. 
that's a water one, so we can pop that in here. Just in here somewhere. There we go. Now we're going to need to fill this up with some fertiliser. What we'll do is just pull up to here, jump out, and buy some. And 5,000 litres should be plenty for now. While I'm at it, I'll also buy some seed. Again, 5,000 should be fine for now. Shouldn't need that much. There we are. I'm actually going to start on the edge. It's got a 10 meter, 10 meter workings width, which is, uh, yeah, that, that's not bad. That isn't bad. I mean, two and a half thousand pounds. 12 miles an hour, it works fine. I don't think I'm getting that edge, am I? Oh dear. Right, no, I'll jump with it. We'll turn that off. We won't do the fertilising yet because it seems to be missing little pieces. So we will have to come back off after it and clear up. You'll notice throughout this gameplay that I'm a stickler for putting things in the right place. Oh, we haven't gone through our settings for the game. Should have done that a long time ago. Where are we? Where are we? I don't go less than times five, that's that's my thing. I'm gonna put it on easy. Makes things a lot easier. Seasons, yes, fixed visual, all that's lovely jubbly. I'm gonna take crop destruction off. Don't see the point in that. With all these iffy uh trucks, trailers and things where they just flip for no reason sometimes. Too sharp, you go around the corner with a truck and it jack nice all the time. I turn it off because, yeah, it's a div. Periodic ploughing. <clears throat> we'll keep that on. Fields, field stone, not a chance. Drives me insane. And so does the weeds. Put lime. Yeah, we'll have that on. Dirt. We'll leave it on automatic for now because we're on console. It can just be a pain otherwise. Fuel usage high. Do not want the worker to refuel fuel. He can refuel everything else if he's doing it. That's not a problem. Right, that's a basic, quick way of doing it for now. Making it a little easier on ourselves. Right, these are now filled up with water. So we can go in here and fill these up. We will do lettuce and lettuce to start with. Also better turn that on. Close that. It says we've already got honey. Should be a pallet spawn, shouldn't there then? 300. I don't think what way it is. No? Oh, they increased it, didn't they? So I'm not sure what that'll be. But we'll have another look in here. Nothing there. We will want another tractor. That's a damn certain. Um. What do we got? That's a 
has to do Voltra. Basically, the smaller version of what we just got. Yeah. It's a bit pricey if you ask me, though. It's this little bugger. Maybe only be 95 horsepower, but it's gorgeous. I do like my older style tractors. Uh, 37 grand, you you know, you can't argue with that pricing. Could be a good little runaround vehicle, that's for certain. See, you got these. <clears throat> there it they're all right. I just I don't know. They're they're an odd odd sort of shape. I like the open cab style, uh, and they're, they're nice and cheap. But yeah, mm. don't know. I'm trying to find think of use. It's annoying because you want to fill it up, but you don't want to just buy random rubbish. You know. For example, will 100 HP be actually strong enough to pull a full grain cart? Probably not. That 100 HP, I wonder if that's enough to pull a decent sized mower. Bow, 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 mowers. Three point six bow wings is probably gonna be too much for it. One sixty one eighty. That's a nice mower that one by the way. Uh, kinda got enough for that, but see the only problem with those ones, they take up a lot of storage room. the mini baler <laughs> I despise it never again there's the fast baler that's what I normally try to get hold of eventually and uh, one of these big balers the pooper machines as I like to call them just the big log square ones just keep popping out they're great for grass grass bales uh, we'll have to just wait to see what comes up in the sales. We're in August, so we'll check the wrong one. Check what we can and can't do. Parting season. Canola, and all three of them could be done. Barley and wheat, but not oats. Will probably probably be wheat this year, I'd imagine. It's just if work has completed his task. Bloody hasn't. He hasn't even done half of it. Lazy git. Has he completed task in the middle of the field? There we go. Yeah, you got a strip over there to sort out as well. That's fine. Right. So yeah, if you haven't seen this particular shed, uh, all the doors in that work. Turn on the lights, nice bright, it's huge. You can get pretty much anything in here. I'm pretty certain everything fits. Obviously, 
You can't put a combine in here with the header attached. But they will fit in. And let's open that one up. You'll see in here is your workshop. There's your trigger. You've got plenty of room. Fit nearly anything in here. And you can fit multiple things in here if need be. For repair. I think it's, I think it's a brilliant, brilliant shed. Uh, reminds us we're here, so we might as well put some fuel in here. I don't want to go too mad. 2,000 should be plenty. For the best part of a year. We're only run one in run one tractor at the moment. The only thing I haven't put down, and I've just remembered and realised myself, is a sleep map. Uh, not a problem. It's here somewhere by Alien Jim. Front door map. So there. We have a sleep trigger, as you can see. We can now sleep in our house. Which is quite nice. And, okay, not in the late afternoon because the trees are covering everything, but we've got a sun-shaded bench here. I'll sit here and have a pint in the afternoon. Brown water, I think you lot like to say over there in the US and Canada. We still haven't got that first honey pallet yet. How's matey boy doing? He hasn't stopped, has he? No. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to skip a month. So we're still in way within the planting season. Let's see if there's anything new for sale. Fingers crossed for a decent little harvester. It'd be nice to get one of them in and put away, ready for the harvest next year. Nice cheap one. Doesn't have to be. We can hopefully get one later on in the year. Cedar would be really good. The correct type. Fingers crossed, what we got. Exactly the same things. To be actually, yeah, yeah, we did go forward to September. But that was disappointing. Uh, still no lettuce yet. Well, oh, blimey. And, whoa, that was a lot of honey. One, two, three, four. Nice. They're doing their thing. How's matey boy doing? He's doing all right. Well, let's have a look. We can, we can go one more month before planting. Um. It's not a lot else to do. I mean, we have got the other field that we could technically cut grass, but we're trying to do a setup. So it does look weird that texture. One's lush green, and I have no idea how that's happened. They're both meadow grass. I painted that. Unusual. Anyway, we're going to skip forward a day. Or a month, as they say. Um, you know, this is the month that we're going to need. Got to do the plant in here. So we'll let the worker finish off cultivating that field up. Hopefully we'll find something good in the sales. Otherwise we'll be renting a cedar. Because, uh, I don't want to waste all the money in one go. Oh, God. It's never good when you find just two random things. 
Well, yeah, okay. Uh, so, I mean, I, we could buy a small one and keep a small one on the farm, but that's kind of the one we get what we really want. It's something like that. Uh, da, 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 da. That's the one we're going to be using because we can pull that with the tractor we got. Uh, see how he's doing. He should hopefully be finished. Why does it look like he's not doing anything? Or was it just me? Oh no, I can hear the engine and I can see it moving. He's maybe got one, two more passes. It's a little wider, maybe two and a half passes, and I've got a little bit over there on the left that he hasn't done. Uh, I've got, I've got a little cheat for that, because what I am gonna do, which I really want to do anyway, it's a little three meter cultivator in the green. Because I want a Zeta. End of story. It is pure want. This is not a need. This is not a necessity. It's I want the Zeta. I absolutely love this little tractor. Just the way it starts up, the way it sounds. And when I when I used to go at weekends and um, weekdays when my mother worked. I used to sit at the, me, me, the farm where my granddad was working. Um, he had a little tractor similar similar to this. Uh, it, it was, I think it was a Ma it was a Massey Ferguson. It was a little red tractor. Um, it was very much a patterned part tractor, very old, very fallen apart, put together with odd bodge bits, and um, and it had a it had a seed bag covering the metal seat. Every now and then you'd have to change the seed bag because it was grotty and dirty and or very uncomfortable to ride on with him. Um, but yeah, it reminds me of that, and you know, uh, you can never get those memories back unless you are lucky enough to run a farm. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to cheat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to cover up those little spots that the other one missed. And with this mod, this the Zeta can do it. It's no problem. Actually, really good at it. Normally it's really good here, obviously it's with the moment just all mud going uphill. Uh, looks like that's about to do its last little bit, hopefully. So this works out nicely. Uh, zoom out a bit and see if we can see any more little patches. No, that seems to be all of it. Just this last bit here, that's nice. And we can turn this into a nice arable field. We've still got field 10, which is bigger. Uh, uh, well, it's, it's square, it's not so long. Um, that's still grass. Not 100% certain what we'll do with that for now. Until a decision's made, it's probably just going to get left farrowed, if you like. Um, yeah, it'll just get left there for now until we decide whether or not we're going to churn up the grass and turn it into an arable field or cut the grass and keep it as grass. We have got a silage pit, so we could, we could in essence, do it that way. Let's see if we can give, this, give him out. Uh, 
I'm going to get taken out right now, so... Let's miss the chunk down here. Ah, has he missed that bit? Right, let's come down, I'm going to get the cedar, so he can come do this bit himself. Get that little bit there. Yeah, I quite, uh, quite like the build. It worked out all right in the end. Uh, 1.5 million, basically what we spent. We've got 144 grand left of it. Landscaping, or terraforming if you like, didn't take up as much as I thought it was going to. Honestly thought that was going to take up even more money than it did. I'm not going to tab all the time, but just for now, couldn't be bothered to walk all the way out to that field. <laughs> there we are. I do like this old... Uh, this cultivator. Although, when you, when you actually look at it, it looks more like a plough. In some respects. Alright, that's that one done. forward disconnect there we go that is one heavy old weight alright let's drive around and get a cedar still can't get over the fact that there's hardly anything in the second hand market when I played my first run through of Carmston I was running a very small grass farm in essence down behind the church and pretty much every month were small tractors and small implements in the sale at well over 50% off and the first couple of years was a breeze even though I wasn't making a lot of money with just small grass fields it, it was brilliant and then as I got bigger the it, believe it or not, the implements got bigger. But, I don't know, today, doesn't seem to be hardly anything in the uh, second-hand shops. But, no need to digress. Let's find ourselves the cedar we want. It's going to be this one. Yep. That'll have to do the trick. We'll rent that. Eight grand. 165. Definitely not worth buying out outright. At that price. I will. I mean, if a small three meter cedar come up in the sale, I'll even buy that. Uh, uh, for the price of them, I think they're a bit overpriced. Mind you, saying that I remember being about five year olds, five year old, and planting potatoes in a small field on the farm that my granddad worked on, um, and it was I can't remember exactly the process, but I remember it was a lot of hands-on, just popping them in the ground, sort of thing, and that didn't work at all. I keep saying I've got to remove those rocks right there, but I don't. Anyway, 
Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. I've got the seed in here. Gotta put seed in it. I did get seed put in. I think I put about 5,000 in here. So, should fill her up. And it's wheat or barley. We've decided with wheat. I don't know why I decided wheat, but I did. <laughs> uh, pop back a bit. Yeah, so again, all we'll do is we'll go up, round, do the headlands, um, then set a worker off, see how well he does. Grab the fertiliser, our little gator, uh, and get back to the fertilising, which we were going to do, until we found that strip of grass that hadn't been cut, uh, that hadn't been cultivated in. In theory, it should only need one coat, because it was grass. That should have acted like a first stage fertiliser. So once the seed's gone down and we go and fertilise it, that's it, job done until harvest, pretty much. We've got weeds off on this field, um, on the fields, because I'm sick and tired of weeds at the minute. There is stones, but we've turned them off just because the amount that come through on these big fields and the so the so small are all the stone pickers i think i think when until someone comes out with a big one it's rather time consuming and silly for for live streaming anyway i mean if you were videoing it and you could uh, speed up time that's different when you're live streaming i mean who, who wants to sit there and watch you pick stones out of a field for five hours I mean it's insane oh, there we are I like this cedar a lot the only reason myself and mostly everyone else goes for the the other ones is this one doesn't flex so if you've got a, a bump in the field or a dip in the field, it's not getting seeded. You'll be doing backwards, forwards and round around and round about motion. Um, and you just will not be able to get it to seed. That's why some of the other ones are a much better fit. But the fact this just takes 180 HP to pull means it is if you can afford it or if you're just renting this is the one to go for when you're upgrading in size because at least that way you can get your fields done a little quicker There we go. Hopefully he will go up and down perfectly fine. That's the plan anyway. Uh, 
Uh, I did put, yeah, yeah, it's in here. So yeah, here's the gator. Um, nice and cheap, these ones. Yeah, all we're going to do now is we're going to go up and fertilise the field. Pretty certain it should have one fertilisation state anyway for cultivating the grass down. But we'll have a look. On a lot of maps it does anyway, so pretty certain it should do. Perfect, that's what we like to see. It doesn't need ploughing apart from the edges. Interesting. And just the edges need lime? Or does it all need lime? Just the edges need lime. That doesn't even make sense, does it? Interesting. So we're going to go up and down this end. Now, uh, this only has a 10 metre spread, but for two and a half thousand pounds, you can't really argue, can you? <laughs> I mean, you get the one that attaches the back of the tractor, 25 grand. Ten times the amount. Uh, you know, it may cover four, four times the distance. But it's ten times the amount. And when you're first starting off, you don't really want to spend too much money too quickly. So you try to be more careful. Uh, penny pincher, I think, is the word my dad would probably have used years ago. Um, yeah, you're just tr trying to stop spending as much, if anything at all. It's, you know, you don't want to waste any money. And, that, and that's when, yeah, it was the second hand market this year, um, over 19. For console players, I know PC players had a mod where you could have second hand prices on certain equipment, etc. That's great, but for console users, we never had anything like that at all. So to the fact that we can now buy second-hand equipment has been brilliant. I mean, I said the tour of my... I did a tour of my Carmsden playthrough farm that I've had um, the other day, uh, which is on... It's on Twitch, it's on YouTube. Um, that... Pretty much everything you see on there, apart from three or four items, was all bought on that used market. And I've got two mid-range mid, mid -range harvesters now. I used to have to roster mash at the start. I've got two mid-range harvesters that I got from the used market. Even my tractors that I've got, and I've got a few of them now on there. All of them. All of them are, were from the used market. I got one that was 33,000 that I bought new. Um, but I bought it new and I didn't use it that often. I think it had about an hour and a half usage on it because I ended up with a um, Kloss, Kloss, I think it's Axion, oh, I can't remember now, but a uh, Kloss tractor with a nice size HP um, that came up on a second hand market for. Uh, dirt cheap. I think it was something like 80 grand and it was 300 odd horsepower. I think it worked out about 140 grand after I put everything I uh, bumped up the horsepower and etc. But you can't argue with those prices. Sometimes it seems like it's a bit over the, overpriced on certain things. But um, I think it's one of the best improvements 
over 19. I really do. I mean, apart from the obvious. And we could go and talk about the graphics all day long. Um, and the fact that the, the playability for console users is better. Yes, there's problems. Lots of people say about the problems. Um, my biggest problem that I've had, um, and I'm on Xbox Series S, um, the biggest one that I've had was forestry. There is not one map um, at all that I can go on when I cut a tree down. It doesn't do that weird explosion spider webby freak out mode. I could maybe cut three or four trees down and I'll go, oh no, this is not bad. Maybe I can give forestry a try. And then bang, the next tree, explosion. And then I'll get three or four of them like that in a row. So, yeah, there, there, there's some issues still. But, um, I mean, everyone has issues. Uh, it's, this is not, I mean, this is farming simulator. It's not, um, it's not quite the level of sales that you get with things like FIFA, GTA, um, it, it is a niche game and this is the developers first time of doing it completely solo so there's gonna be teething issues you know um, and that's great I, I like the fact that it's got teething issues because it shows that they're listening and that they're trying to fix these problems uh, and there's a lot of people I hear about the mod hub at the moment if oh uh, you know oh, they took the TLX off because the TLX was rubbish TLX wasn't rubbish and it, and it won't be rubbish what the TLX is is fantastic the modder that created it did such a good job with it that it it didn't cause the problem it highlighted a problem but because it highlighted the problem people that were using that mod was blaming the mod for the problem and therefore giving it a poor rating uh, and now these modders why they do it they do do it for free they're not doing it they're not in it for the money um, they do get a payment from giants for how well their mod is Based, rated and etc etc and to get a bad rating you know I mean, that's 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 like going out there and doing your best performance in a you know a football match and people turn around and say well you were crap you know as much as you say oh yeah I'm hard I, that don't bother me your feelings are gonna get hurt you know you're gonna feel crappy you're gonna feel well, why did I bother um, so he, I think he's done the right thing where he's pulled the mod um, and he's preparing everything for his TLX range including the Phoenix going through testing etc auto loading for console that is a thing people keep going it's never going to happen it's only for PC there is a thing pallet auto load is a thing um, 82 studio has done that I can't believe I, I don't know if it's passed yet but it will it will pass eventually if it hasn't um, but it, when 1.3 the patch 1.3 drops we will get the TLX and anything else he's created will be back on the mod hub to be able to use um, he's holding everything off until then so if he's got anything that's passed anything that's passed he's holding it until then because his mods have shown some errors in the base game and it's not his fault. He's just highlighted them. They're that good. It found the problems within the system. Which is great for us. Because that means the problem's going to get fixed by Giants. It's great for Giants. Because they now know that these problems exist before they did this big update. Their new D DLC because let's face it if they brought out a DLC and then they had all these problems 
it'll be pandemonium. Um, people will be kicking off left, right, and centre. Um, this way, they've been able to, in essence, save face and get the problem resolved before it really became an issue. Uh, if, if you want to see what sort of problems it, it can create, it's uh, mostly it's crashing. It crashes, it crashes the game. Um, but there are some quite hilarious side effects with the TLX. Um, obviously, once the patch is done, it'll be all sorted. But um, yeah, DJ Goham and Clutch uh, on their Friday stream a couple of weeks back had had 82 on there, and um, they were showing some of the, the problems that the TLX was having thanks to the the errors that were in in the base game that were, are, are being addressed. Uh, and it was hilarious just seeing a flying truck in the middle of the air just stuck in the middle of the air you know, we're talking two, 200 feet up in the air straight up it was funny um, I don't think 82 liked it very much seeing his creation like that but yeah I thought it was hilarious and it was it was great that they took the time to explain that you know don't blame the modders I mean there are some modders that do or should get blamed those um fake modders that take someone else's mod and just rush it onto the mod hub and it's it's crap um, they you know they're not doing anyone any favors <laughs> and, and it's kind of why giants are now allowing multiple mods of the same type on um, it's so that a lot of the decent modders don't have to rush to get things on they can take their time uh, and then you get a good mod you know, I mean, take Old Stream Farm, fantastic map, fantastic map, uh, and it's been done beautifully, and it hasn't been rushed, and then you get something like the construction map. Uh, if that ain't a rush job, desperate for a few pennies in the bank, thinking that they're going to make a mint by someone who's not very good at it, you know, I, who knows? It's not a very good one, in my opinion. Uh, I'm just going to pause it there for a moment, and I shall be back within the next couple of minutes. See you shortly. Hello, back again. Sorry about that. Cat wanted to come in. I had to give it some food as well. Animals, eh? <laughs> I think we'll have to stop the seed, uh, uh, stop the spray, the fertilizer at the bottom here for a minute. That cedar seems to have stopped.
Okay, that's it. Have a look. Uh, the oh, there's a strip all the way up there, but we'll leave that. Bit. There we go. So we'll just finish it off here. Put the worker on it. We'll ride along with the worker. It gives, you, gives me a chance to organise myself a little better. Ah, oh, bloody cat. Now oh, what is with cats and scratching on your stairs? It's not scratch post, and yet they always go to your stair carpet and chew on it, scratch on it. I describe between dogs and a cat. Dogs, no matter what, when you come home from work or even out for five minutes, they're happy to see you and wagging their tails. Cat, when well, it looks at you and goes, Oi, bus boy, take my coat. Do me some dinner. I want my dinner at six o'clock <laughs> and my hotel room cleaned. Not a cat lover, if anyone can tell that. <laughs> Wife is. I'm very much a dog person myself. Man's best friend. And it truly is. Yeah, you know, uh, we've obviously, we've all had that horrible time in our lives where we've had to go a couple of years through Covid um, and here in England that first year of lockdown I worked for a food delivery company um, and uh, like home shopping basically and obviously we, we carried on working we were apparently classed as key workers not that you would have, not, not, not that you would have guessed that working for the particular company I did um, and so we, we, we were increased our working capacity, if you like. We've gone from X drops to double that amount. And then, uh, and then instead of doing your normal five working days, it was oh six working days plus extras and overtime and so on and so forth. And you weren't at home. You know, I work in mostly late evenings. So you weren't at home with the missus who had to sit at home with all the kids. Um, and then when you when you did get home, everyone was already in bed, you know, asleep. And you literally you sat there. You were alone, pretty much, for the for best part of a year. Not a soul, not a dicky bird. You had one day off where you, most of the time, and I'll be completely honest, you're so damn exhausted. Uh, as much as you want to be around your family and your kids and, and your missus etc and just have a bit of contact with people you turn into just a miserable snappy bastard <laughs> I shouldn't use that language but you do um, what can you do you don't, you don't do it deliberately but it happens. There is a, I'm sure there's a way of emptying Rather than losing it, turn on see the seat, see the open cover. Change driving direction, choose from channel, honk, unload. There we go. Oh. There's no sense in losing all that seed. Bye bye, Cedar. You did a good job. The only question is, I've got to try and get that back in there. Let's change drive directions. Love that feature. Let's see if we can just push it into the seed mix.
Does that work? No, it didn't. What I'll do then. Try and push him in. I'm sure if I just push him over that right they'll go back in there unless I have to lift them up. I have to lift them up. Don't really want to because I don't want to spend money. Damn, I'm going to have to lift it up. Oh no, 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 it worked. So who says you need to spend money on loaders and whatnot? Just give it a shove. It's all good. Oh, not on that one. I need you to go to that one. Pushed it too far. There you go. Getting overconfident and cocky. I pushed one way too far. I'm not sure. Oh, no, I didn't. Perfect. There you go. There's one way of doing it. Parker up. Probably not that dirty, but we'll give her a clean. I didn't check when I bought that tractor. I didn't check how many hours it had on their clock. I just saw the price tag got googly eyed and bought it. <laughs> you get straight off the bat a 180 horsepower tractor for 50 grand. You're not going to argue. Interesting. Some are clean, some are not. I have no idea. Either way, they're clean. Oh, you wanted to check the running hours. 12.1. That's not bad. That's not bad. That'll last a while. Have we got some bits and bobs yet. One. What's the water situation? 4,000, 8,000, plenty. How are we doing on the old honey? Almost starting to fill the warehouse. At this point, I should have planted canola. Ah, we're in October. There's nothing really to do now. Um, I should really do some more landscaping. Let's just tidy some of this up. Dun, paint in. Oh, forest ground's a bit like wood chip, isn't it? Quite like that. Open it up a bit. Do I want a dog? Not yet. I ain't even got a car. <laughs> I see some leaves crunched in, but it kind of looks like wood chip. Stony wood chip. But it works out nice. Now, we're going to sleep. That. 
Happy birthday, it's November. <laughs> oh well. I thought it would be a look a little colder than that. Right. Fingers crossed something good. For a harvester. Uh, yeah. Well, 16 grand ain't too bad. 180 horsepower. Might be worth a punt, that one. Yeah, I mean, I've got the cultivator. I don't really need one. It's more of a stupidity buy, really. Oh, I have no idea. Should we? Shouldn't we? No, I'm going to leave it, I think. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. So, we're in November. Check on the field. There should be a lot to do. Da, 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 da. Two different types of grass. Nice. Uh, looks alright. We're not going to roll this year. We ain't bought one. We don't need to worry about that. We still get a 95% yield bonus. Double fertilization, it's all double fertilized. I like it. Nice looking crop. Roots look strong. Let's not trample it too much. Uh, we'll check on everything else. Yeah, look, the honey's now full. So, we're now starting to store honey, as you can see. We've got over a thousand litres already stored. So if we go to the price barrier, but the sale area, uh, I think I went past it already. No, I didn't. It's currently set. Wow, bloody hell. Just under three grand. Is that it? Are we in the highest month for it? No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're near. And it's three grand for a thousand. Wow. Wow. I'm not sure exactly how much it holds. I think it's about 30,000. Definitely a potential of breaking over a hundred grand with, with one full one. Um, and we're doing about, I'd say, at least two and a half thousand a month. Oh, well, at least two thousand a month with all these. But I expect them to pretty much stop what they're doing now. We're about to go into winter. Uh, see you in the morning. Well, that's had a very long sleep. Like I'm hibernating all year, but I wait a bit. There we go. December. Still looks like November. Alright. Aha! We've got some bits and bobs. Now what have we got? Here we have fertilized spreader. Can it do lime? Yes, it can do lime. 22 grand. I could use that primarily as the lime spreader. Just keep the lime in it and parked up. Use it once a year. I like it. I like it. 
12 to 18 meters spread. That ain't very big, but that's fine. That is a planter. Six grand. That's, that's three meters, but that's cheap. Don't like that. And an M6 series. 130 to 140. Should be able to pull both of them. 49. Can I justify spending 50 grand on it? Forty. Definitely having that. Two hundred and fifty quid for an extension. Do we need an extension? Don't need an extension. A waste of money. Standard wheels with standards fine. Spreading discs. Eight grand to get eighteen. That's twelve. Yeah, that's fine. We don't want any number plates on anything but our vehicles. So we're just going to go with a box standard. That's twenty-two. Not a bad little price. We'll have that. We're definitely going to take that home as well. Uh, I'm not sure about that tractor because we've got others we can get. This. Okay, they're hundred grand. Yeah, look, 33,000. It's 180 horsepower. It's bigger. It's cheaper and it's brand new. I mean, it, you do struggle with filling anything up with this tractor. For example, if you've got certain cedars on the, on the back or even certain fertilizers, because it has a button for opening the the windows or the door window if you like is the same button as you would to open the cover of said piece of equipment it, every time you try to use it it just opens the tractor's door rather than the actual implement you're trying to fill up that's the only issue we have with the Fiat Agri and it's a little noisy that being said it is a nice cheap one And there is no, oh, no, don't like that. And they're the case. Where's it? Got Massey. Let's see, that's what I want. I want the Massey. That is a damn solid good tractor. That came up in the second hand market. We'd have that straight away. Uh, is there anything? I've got anything of a large toy? No. Well, I have, but not at the price range. Well, we have some, but I don't think they're 105, 95, 100, 120, that's 80 grand. Oh dear, I do want another tractor. Technically, that could still use the planter. That definitely can. So I'm not just 15 grand. You can't really argue with that, can you? For a second little tractor. Exhaust, chrome, chrome 2, flap, original. I like the flaps, so we're going with flap. Design, what's this changing? I'm not worried about that.
Not sure if we need a front loader really. Won't put one on there yet. We'll add the extra bigger engine for two grand. It's still less than twenty thousand. The main colour, I'm assuming that's the wheels. Oh no, it's the interior. Yeah, we're definitely going for the brown leather look. Definitely going for the brown leather look. That'll do. I'll have one of them. That'll help transport some of this up. Six grand, some people may say it's a waste, but it means we've got a planter so we can do corn and whatnot if we want to. And I'm going to be really, really cheeky. Let's see, no, we can cheat through here. We can. Shouldn't do that, but I just wanted to know this. Keep this little one in here. Save the inside for big stuff. There we are. The idea eventually was to put um, hedges around this borderline. Do this now while I remember. Just keep saying we're going to do it and we never do. Right. I'll see if that's an improvement. I hate it when it does that. Plodding along nicely. Now yeah, we'll pick up the lime. We'll have to do lime next year. No, no lime needed this year. Just on that very outer top edge. Kind of pointless doing lime when you don't need it. But, uh, I can say, if you don't need something, and yet it comes up in the sale, and you don't need it for a year, it's cheap enough, you're going to get it. There's no point in not getting it. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could remove some of these hedges and turn in better then. Right, it's fine, you can drive through them. They're, they're not collision bound. So, you know, if you're in the first person, it's easy. As long as your tractor goes round, you can pull the trailer right through it. You know, right? For example, if you pulled in that way like this, didn't look behind you, you're just pushing through, see, there, like that. You wouldn't notice it yourself, let alone anyone else. Right, I'll back this one in. He says optimistically whilst hitting the side of the shed.
Get it to go nice and neatly in that corner. There she is. Actually, when you comparison, Voucher is not that much bigger. Yeah, it's almost double the engine capacity. Yeah, definitely was the right choice in the seat colouring. Definitely, that really does look like a leather seat now. They've done well doing that on the mod. Really well. Love that seat. It's the little details that sometimes can give you some so much joy, pleasure. Uh, are the right words. Check on our water. 3,000, 7,000. We'll probably top that up come Feb or Jan maybe even January. We'll be up to 3,000. Yes, about 2,000. 2000 a, a year uh, a month sorry yeah it's doing nicely uh, we're hoping we've only got 80 grand left looks like this rate will be higher in a harvester rather than buying one but we're hoping to see some improvements with the second hand market And the only downside to buying anything second hand, other than repair costs, etc., etc., when you go to do them, is the resale value. It drops dramatically for what you paid for it. Whereas if they're new, new, you bought from new, you actually save money, if that makes sense. For example, if we bought an M6 series and it was new, and we'd already had it six months, we'd only lose about two grand on its value. And then you're selling it for nearly a hundred thousand, and then you go and buy the second hand one that's in the market. They're the upsides. And oh man, I want the Massey. Yeah, I want the Massey. That can that can stay there. That can. Oh. And an extractor. Problem is that's not the universal one. That's a round baler, isn't it? That does just round bales. <sighs> so we are going to wait till February so we can just get most of that off before I decide against not buying. <laughs> Uh, oh, there we go. We've got um, no snow, snow, no snow, 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 no snow. Oh. Snow over there and all. Oh, there we go. We've got some snow. No snow. Snow. <laughs> Peculiar. Uh, uh, that's still in there. Manure. Twelve meter spread. That's not bad for a little one. Fourteen grand. But we have no manure. There's no sense in purchasing one of them. 
Get out of here. Bloody dear. Uh, I'll take this. I am surprised at how little fertilizer we actually used to do that entire field with this. That was impressive. Do you know what? I left it in there, didn't I? There's me thinking this was attached. Should be enough room to manoeuvre. Yeah, the whole point of having just little items in there. Again, if anyone's just watching this part and haven't seen the, this before, there is a water pipe that I, you place right next down to it. Certain water packs, there's three or four of them now. There's one that's absolutely free. It's five grand to place, the water is free in it. Drive up, start tipping your water, and you can fill up at the same time. And you just keep tapping the fill up zero pennies so therefore your only outlay for it is your five grand for your pipe and however size of greenhouse you get is obviously dependent on the price so i think the big one's 10 grand so it'll be fifteen thousand pound trust me in one year you will make that money easy great outlay and i don't even take these down to fill them up uh to sell them i let i let the first lot fill up next to it as you can see uh, once that's done i will be adding strawberries and lettuce to it uh strawberries and tomatoes as well once the greenhouses are full to capacity i just click sell them yes i know you only get 60% of their value um, which you would get more if obviously you get the 400 if you go and sell them yourself but on console it's a little tricky to be doing that um, obviously with PC they've got all the strength mods and whatnot else auto loaders and it's a bit tiresome with the old forklifts especially when there's still they're not right. You go more than one crate on a forklift and lift it up. The top one starts sliding off and bouncing about, even if you're not moving. And it's annoying. Whereas when it first started, I know they've increased the size and weight of them. But when it first started, you could handle them by hand, load them onto trucks by hand, etc., etc. At least that way, it was. It was more plausible please you know more more accessible for everyone now i know a lot of people that have stayed away from productions just because it's too much for them to do you know uh, and i can get that i get that uh, as i say with with the phoenix coming uh, tlx tlx phoenix that is going to have some auto loading stuff with it the pack so that should be interesting I'd very much like to start into the production side of it when that happens. Uh, here we go. Ooh. That's a header. Oh, man. That is not fair. Too big for my tractor. Would be perfect. Not got the cash capital for that. Uh, what one is it? It's a 10,000. That'd be nice. That would be nice. That also would be nice. 37 grand. That's cheap. That's cheap. And the thing is with this, you'd have to buy the header. John did. E560. And the header is... Uh, it's 43 grand. 
trailer will be about 10 it's 50 <sighs> not above taking a loan Oh, it's a tough one that that is really really tough one because and I'll tell you why we are in February I believe February or March and we're gonna have to harvest shortly and if I rent one we're looking at about 20 grand to rent one to rent the chances of getting another cheap one in is never great the next harvester that comes up could be bigger and more expensive that's the dilemma 147 Let's have a look. What else? What have I got on here? We got the TLX TX32. It's 52. I could get it actually new. The head is 20 grand for that. Though. I'm pretty certain. Yeah, 20,000. That's makes that a 75,000 pound. Yeah, 75,000 pound investment. Dominator. Ooh. Ooh. 75. What's the head? Eight. Aha, wow. Okay. 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 That could actually work. I don't have to get it yet. So come harvest, that would be less than, what is that, be less than 80 grand. That's what we'll do. We'll wait. We won't get it. We'll wait. But this, on the other hand, 190 horsepower for 37 grand. Dual's on the back kind of doesn't work when you've got two wheel drive. going for it we are going for it there we go that's our third one I think ultra horses said I thought doesn't have a number plate. I'm guessing it doesn't have didn't have the option for a number plate either. There we are. I'll leave that open. We're gonna go collect it. Yeah we're in March. I found a collectible. I knew they had them, but I've never looked for them. Let's 
we don't do paint. Just thought I'll throw that out there for everyone that's watching or listening. We don't do painting on these. Oh, two wheel drives a bit. Way. Definitely wiggly. Hundred and ninety, I'm trying to work out is that gonna would that be enough to do front and side mowers? Be nice if it was. I need to get some mowers. Mind you, I don't think this has got three point attachment added on to it, it? No. No, I didn't think of that. And do that. Jump in here. Pekin's attachment. Okay, front attacher. So I can put one on for a grand. It's okay, that's fine. Repair for a thousand odd quid. Be fine for now. We do do repairs. Um, as you would do on any farm equipment you would you would do so repairs do make sense to me the high repair cost I think is rather expensive so we don't do them all the time uh, I tend to do them after after sales after big sale seasons sort of end of financial year about now January February March about now every other year that's when we roughly do them 17 litres, 208, that is a 385, it's got damage, do you know it's damaged, it's just wear and tear, still be fine, so I'm not a John Deere fan but we seem to have John Deere's on the farm. I'm more of a Kloss and Ma Class and Magus Massey Ferguson fan, but you know, it is what it is. And we've still got honey that we can sell at any point. So money has been made in, in essence. It's just it's uh it's a bit like gold rush. <laughs> when you know it's in the ground, it's there, you just gotta pull it out. <laughs> We're now into April. Getting some colour on our fields now. We should have at least. Yeah, look at that. Lovely wheat field with some rocks. I wonder what they were for a second then. My mind went blank as well. Uh, they're going nicely. And oh look, we've got another one of them in the sale. Little disc arrow. Nothing really for us. Check on the old honey factory. Just have a little walk up to it. Should give us the information. There's 8,000 litres in there. Let's have a little check on its value. So we want to sell it at its highest peak. And honey is currently at averaging about three grand. And the best time to sell it was February. <laughs> I missed that one, didn't I? Oh dear, February. So we'll get it sold. I think that is the best thing to do. So I will activate these. Let's sort that. There we go. Turn that to selling. Now we do have to wait an hour to make sure that sells at the price for this month. Because if you 
if you just go skip the month you'll get the average price for the month not that price at the current time so for example at the moment it's, it's averaging about 3100 but as you see the month it drops so at the moment because we just started the month it's sort of at the top end of that price range and if you sell it overnight you'll get the mid of that price range so it'll be based on about 28,000 2800 a, a thousand that's how it how it roughly works so we need to wait for the hour to pass we can speed up the time I don't mind speeding up I just don't slow down There we go, that's fine. Four minutes. He says, two minutes. And believe it or not, we've probably actually got more in there now. Yeah, 8,700. Bingo, up to 73 grand. Back into uh, productions because we don't want it, to, want it to store again. So that was what? Uh, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. So it's about six months. So about half a year, we just made. 30 odd grand. Do you know what? We'll have a look exactly how much it was. Twenty four thousand eight hundred and sixty, and that's the that's the winter months. Uh, and as you know, they uh, the bees stop really working during the colder months. It's the summertime that they they make a lot of honey. So. The next six months will be even more. Like I say, it's like money in the ground. It's like gold in Gold Rush. All you got to do is dig it out. So believe it or not, at that price, but at that amount of money that we've got at the moment, come harvest, we could actually afford a harvester. Almost. You know, I mean, take a small loan out. Um, we're all still after a trailer, so we'll keep fingers crossed that something comes up. Wrong sort of trailer. <laughs> Speak too soon. Wow, 435 HP. It's only an 8 metre plough. It's a lot. Another one of them. Uh, tedder. It's a good price. It's a really good price. It's a big tether as well. Mm. Oh dear, I don't know. I don't know. You want grass for that other grass field we got? That could turn it into hay. That's an easy, easy option. We would then need windrow and a baler as well as mowers 16 grand <sighs> so I'm gonna pass for now probably gonna regret that one but we will we'll pass for now check on the field gotta be getting close yeah look at it it's already changed now You'll see the roots starting to change. Lovely. Uh, the way it transitions into the grass. That's brilliant. Look at that. So yeah, that's growing nicely. We've got uh, how long we got left on that? Uh, 
week, two months. I do like this house. It does, that's how it reminds me of actually, looking at it. Um, any of you have ever watched Dagoin's survival roleplay series? Uh, if I was to say Dennis, I think you'll know the one I mean. <laughs> um, right towards the end, his last series he did, where, where he was living on that one. The house shape. Forget that bit over there. It's, it looks very familiar. It looks similar to that. And they had a little walled garden. I don't know if it's the same sort of house that's just been taken off of it or, or what, but it's, it looks very similar. That's what it reminds me of anyway. So these should be now f almost full size crops. There we go. Look at that. There we go. One month and that'll be ready. One month. Um, oh. No fair. The Massey's there. The Massey. I wanted this Massey. Hmm. I won't lie, I really want it. Ah, oh. thing is, don't need a fourth tractor. Don't need a fourth tractor. I don't need a fourth tractor. I do not need a fourth tractor. Don't need a fourth tractor. I do not need a fourth tractor. Damn it, I've got a fourth tractor. Oh, I'm so bad. But it's okay, it's okay. We're going to get rid of this one. Buy one, you got to sell one. I think that's that's got to be a rule. Three, we don't need any more. We don't need any more. Even three is probably way too much. Yeah. yeah, it is what it is. I wanted the Massey Ferguson. I said I wanted it. I don't need two John Deere's. This being the smaller engine one probably worth more than the other one as well actually because I've got this one this is the only one we had new oh, but look at that she's beautiful isn't she hey gotta love a messy there's a trigger no repair no repaint no nothing needed 15,755 there we go, so yeah, it didn't cost as much as it first appeared. Oh yes. Wasn't anything else on there, what's, there's a cedar. Do need a cedar. I do need, oh, it's big isn't it? Do need a cedar. I'm gonna regret not. I should. I should. I should get it. I should get it. I should get it. You should buy it. 
Well, I can talk to myself till the cows come home. Doesn't mean I'm going to buy it. <laughs> yeah, I'm cutting through here. Shouldn't do it. I did it. I did it. I did it. There we go. Some sensible colour in here at last. So, we're still going to need a grain trailer. We're still going to need a grain trailer. One hasn't come up. Normally, there's trailers. I don't know, I don't know about yourselves. But I find trailers come up all the time. Um, and as you can see, we've, we've gone through the best part of a year. And not one trailer's appeared. As of yet. Now, I mean, you've got these little dinky ones. You've also got the, the Kloss one, which is kind of my go-to standard. But what I was also seeing and thinking is you've got this Massey. And it's one from the mod. It's one from the mod hub. Simple, basic, but it's a Massey Ferguson one, for starters. And a 17,200 capacity for less than 20 grand. Not as big as the Kloss with the Kloss extension, but cheaper. You are literally paying just under a th uh, just, just under a thousand pounds for a thousand liters of space. I think that's pretty good, and I think I think it's a toss up between that one and the Kloss when it comes to it. If nothing comes up. I mean, if something comes up in the meantime, we'll get that, obviously. Check the water situation. 3,000. 7,000. That's fine. No way. There's nearly 4,000 already stored in there. I told you the summertime would be better. June, June, June. This is it. We'll probably end up leaving it here for the night, I think. I'll try and uh, do another stream on the same one tomorrow evening. Late, late evening or early hours in the morning. I'm going to work till quite late, so it'll be once I'm home. Uh... That should be ready. Doesn't look it from here. Huh. Pretty th I'm sure it was two months. It is, but it's not ready. Okay. Hopefully we can do it next month then. Thought that would be ready. Honestly did. Let's have a look. Right sort of trailer, way too big. It's a four bale stacker. Nothing there for us. Wall situation, three thousand, six thousand. Probably top that up next month. Just shy of six thousand. Wow, that was quick. I don't think we're going to need a loan. This is going to be it, I think. This is harvest day. I'm pretty certain it will be. August to August. We've completed one full year. 1.5 million spent. 41 grand in the bank still. And our first harvest... Gotta check some bits and bobs first. There's just shy of 8,000 litres in there. That's bloody impressive. And, oh. It's just 
trying to make me waste money, aren't they? <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. oh, let's not let, uh, let's not get distracted. Let's do the water. Do the water, do the water. Um, yeah, it's thrown me off, that has. A big old John Deere harvester coming up at the last minute. I was, I was not expecting something like that just to pop up now. I think... It's too big for the roads on Carmston, that particular one. So we are going to. <laughs> I'm not helping my own case here, am I? Uh, now I'm going to stick with the plan. I'll stick with the plan. So when you don't stick with the plan, your mind goes elsewhere, and then you start crashing your vehicles. I think that would be another um, thing we could introduce into Farm Sim. Damage to vehicles. You know, I mean, there's lots of racing games that you play. I mean, you got the option. You have the option to turn damage vehicle off. Yeah. Um, so if if you if you're crash if you you know if you go bang straight into it, well, that didn't work didn't know they would drive through but say like, for example this you go wallop you've just whacked into the wall that should incur a small damage penalty you know we, we we've got the repair bit bit now I think that could be incorporated. Uh, that, that, that could be something that could be done. Uh, let's jump on here. Apparently we can't. Yes, we can. Let's have a look at what we got. We are going to... sell we're gonna sell because oh look at that that's a nice little mini messy we don't need it but it's nice um yeah so we're gonna sell that so we will speed up the time for it. About ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There should be plenty of time. Two set yeah, that's fine. Hopefully this will give us enough to buy the uh harvester. He says, optimistically, oh, 61. Sixty-one double oh one. So we will be taking a loan out at some point. 
Well, I think we're going to leave it there for this evening, and we'll pick up tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try and aim for uh, midnight GMT time. That's what the plan will be for. So anyone who's with me or watching this now can mark that down in their calendar if they wish to continue. Love to see you there. Um, comments and etc. They're all welcome. I try to use the chat on my phone. I don't know whether or not that works. But I'm there if anyone wants that. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. We will start off by having a brief look around the farm. For anyone who's new. Uh, explain the situation etc get a loan get a harvester and a and a uh, and a trailer get the field done turn the field around replant etc and then crack on um, hopefully fingers crossed we can all benefit from a update of 1.3 tomorrow I doubt it I was kind of expecting it today being as it was the 22nd, it was a Tuesday, um, it, it kind of would have fitted in with their current current way that they, they've been doing it. It wasn't to be, obviously, so we're still waiting for that. Um, obviously, if, if we do get that, I will be having the TLX in here, um, especially if they've, if he's already, if he releases any autoloader with it. Because then we will be taking everything to sale rather than auto selling. But um, yeah, I'm not prepared to sit there stacking constantly one pallet at a time. I think one pallet at a time is absolutely stupid. I know there is a mod where you can um, get a forklift that carries four at a time. What was it? Two at a time, flat. But either way, for some reason on console, if you stack them, the top one moves around and you just you can't get them straight and it's a nightmare to load that way at least when when we could move them with our hands again I was still using a forklift back then but you would stack them all in your, your lorry or your flatbed and then once they were all stacked you just sort of jumped up on board used the hand and made them all straight so that you could close the curtain and but now it, it's just it's <sighs> Because I can't do it straight, it sends my OCD out through the roof. <laughs> so I can't do it. <laughs> it's the same it's the same reason why I, I decorate farms like I do. Um I've just noticed that and that's gonna bug the hell out of me. That's on the road. Sorry, I've got to change that. <laughs> God for that. <coughs> Sorry about that. It had to be done. I completely lost my train of thought. So yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll meet again. Or I'll be on again. Uh, hopefully 12, 12 GMT uh, or 00, 00 midnight, however you want to look at it. Um, early morning in, the, in Australia, I guess. Opposite side of the world. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be on about then. Um, and we'll get the harvest done get a harvester in um, somehow I have just spent three oh yeah, yeah that cost me three quid to put that bit of gravel down that's cheap if you think about it that's actually quite cheap I, mean, I, I bought a bag of gravel or stone chips from my local uh, b and Q. it's like a hardware store um, just to fill in a like a large pothole style thing near my driveway uh, a simple bag and it cost me about eight quid for this little bag and it barely covered a I would say a maybe even a 40 centimetre square hole barely covered it yeah I've just covered a good metre and a half squared surface to get rid of those bushes and it cost me three quid 
That's cheap. Like that. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. So we're going to get down here into the save old bit. We'll save the game. And I'll bid you farewell till tomorrow. Matty G out.